Hello, this is Jimmy Accio, and I'd like to talk about my friend, Roger Mayweather. Now, um, I remember watching him. Uh, he's a trainer at the gym at 108th Street and Broadway Gym, my home gym. I trained for since I was 16 years old. And I remember him coming in real late at night, almost like right when I'm about to leave. And he would uh, have his sauna suit on. It's like usually he fights right before his uh, fights at the, when he's defending his title or just fighting. He used to come in a day before the fight, sauna suit, and would just shadow box for 15 rounds. Uh, just running very light combinations with speed, but not no power, just loosening up, keeping loose, and just to get all that sweat going and releasing all that. It's uh, probably to make weight as well. So, and then after, after his workouts, we would hang out and talk a little bit, and he was such a cool guy. And we always had some really cool uh, talks. I used to stay after, I used to go home and go run after my workouts late at night, but uh, I stayed a few times to, to talk with him. He was so cool. And um, I remember uh, getting a chance to spar with him too because he was coming in early one day. On the, I think it was on the weekends and stuff like that. And I used to come in early on the weekends as well. And he was getting ready for the Julio Cesar Chavez rematch. And he was making $750,000. Back then, that was a lot of money back then. Um, defend his title now he's probably making millions of dollars but uh, Chavez is going up in weight to try and uh, win a new title in a new weight class and Roger was his target and Roger was getting ready for that I remember sp the sparring partners being me uh, Carlos Famoso Hernandez and his uh, longtime sparring partner Freddie Pendleton who became the uh, champion as well at one time anyways um but let me show you the, the fight program. It's really cool. And here I am at uh, my boxing wall here in my little art garage gym. And this is one of my flyers I have up with Don King Productions. It's called Fury at the Forum. Roger Mayweather versus Julio Cesar Chavez. And I'll play that fight for you after this. Um, this is the complimentary ticket I got. Uh, where I didn't see, sit there actually, but I was I bought two more tickets and sit with uh, somebody I was with that day. But under the undercard was uh, another guy that I trained with at 108th Street and Broadway, Billy the Kid Robertson, and he fought Michael Nunn on the same card and he lost a decision to Michael Nunn, but he gave him a good fight. And um, very memorable, very memorable experiences there. Anyways, uh, here's the fight. I hope you enjoy it. Roger Mayweather defending his WBC Super Lightweight Championship versus Julio Cesar Chavez at the Great Western Forum. And I was there, very pretty close seats too. Fantastic fight. For Julio Cesar Chavez, realistically, it will benefit him more than Chavez. Even Chavez admits that. It's two lightweight championship belts, Julio Cesar Chavez. The Super Lightweight Championship of the World. 60 wins, no defeats, 34 wins, 5 losses to Cesar Chavez. Mamba Mayweather. Okay, good luck. Referee, let's see what we get here. I'd left. Mayweather has vowed that it won't estimation, Larry. Chavez does not look super quick at this weight. First round in their first fight. The boxer usually, Mayweather has thrown by far four punches, but it is Chavez. Than he did in the first fight. But it is Chavez who has been the aggressor, and he shortens the distance. A lot of money at stake here, Jim. Not only the 750 on his fighter, Roger Mayweather, with the Vegas books. Six to one odds on his fighter. Mayweather. That pattern continues now. Left landed. And this is what Chavez did to Mayweather in their... I guess one of the issues in this fight, Jim, is whether... Maybe. 
tonight, Jim, is he has tied up. She comes to a close. Make him pay when he throws them right hands. They don't have to be homage. This is the same punch from another angle. You heard it over that right hand. And of course, Mayweather has already lasted longer with Julio. Those look good, but Chavez is ducking the block. So there's little reason to suspect that he'll be a knockout artist grimace to that one. Chavez is a textbook fighter, but that was not in the text. And this round three counting down. Right. To 27. I think he's fighting a very, very pretty fight. He's using a left jab constantly. Mayweather is not attributed apparently to the fact that he. Chavez Mayweather clowning just a little bit, trying to leap in with lefts and rights like that. Again warned Mayweather, this time for holding behind the head. And, and they're yelling at each other. Mayweather just missed it earlier, Jim, when two champions meet. Don't force the fight, so, don't you, so you don't get tired. The last voice guilt. See how he will lean up on Mayweather, body him off. Him. You're ahead on all three cards. If you're new to boxing, it's important to record all around. Cesar Chavez has designs on bigger things, big money. Roger Mayweather, and that means he may not get a knockout. Whether he'll be able to sustain this pace remains to be seen. He's trying to come over the top. You've got to start flurrying your punches in there. Lose himself. So continues to stalk. Mayweather continues to flip. More energy now from the Black Mamba again. In the early part of round two of their first bout. Didn't stop. Leads you to believe. Or sprightly. Now Chavez lands a left and a right. Very close to hitting on the break, but he got away with it. Spends a lot of energy because he's always moving forward. Mayweather landed a right, but not as stinging as the one early in the round. And the that exchange, that brisk, effective exchange from both. And Roger Mayweather, oh, I think he's doing a paintbrush job on Julio Cesar. Early in the round, in which he maintained. Catch him with a nice uppercut. I have the fight, three round punches in the fight. By that count, unofficial. I mentioned that. Let's see now if Chavez does wear down. He did get hit twice with the right in the last round. They are trading in there. This is Mansa. And I think it may be Roger who's run into a tired spot here. And Will. a left hook and a right inside. Now this is going to be a break for Mayweather if they... What do these two men have inside them? Coming from a mouse underneath the left eye. And he begins to try to measure the right cut is under the eye, Jim. I don't think it's in the seems to say, damn, you take a punch. Chavez keeps coming.
actual fury. Great right cross by Mayweather. Ben. He won't be stopped from moving forward. Oh, it's there. Stay still. It's nothing. The cat is nothing. Mayweather's manager saying you can knock him out. More interest in boxing of a war at the forum. And this has been great stuff. Exactly the right strap. Other fighters would place themselves in much more danger. But look a little like the Rosario fight did in the late stages. Hey. 85 to 85. I think Julio Cesar Chavez has taken the fight away from Roger. When you got him on the edge, just come out in the middle, okay? He's going to have a very difficult time getting the decision world titles in three separate weight classes. If he succeeds here, there will be four punches. So, his bid, he gets this far, he's headed for a decision. The judge is trying to get a breather in this round for one last heroic of cutting off the ring. He really doesn't let you fight that way. It's, it's very rare the kind of willpower you see in Chavez. He's fighting valiantly. But at this moment... At... This corner, and it's over. And Jim, WBC World Super Lightweight Champion. You can see that they threw an almost equal number of punches. Chavez... To congratulate Chavez. Great, uh, great, uh, great champion, great fighter, and the fight was pretty, uh, pretty even. To defeat it, well, down on for this fight. Todo el entrenamiento no estuve con su chula. I probably had too much liquor today, and it took toll on me the liquor. Hello, Jimmy Akio. I'm back, and I hope you like that the fight with Roger Mayweather and Julio Cesar Chavez. And please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And I'll see you next video.